Do you ever see yourself retiring from rapping? I mean, as long as the passion and the love's there, like we were talking earlier, I'm sure you're just going to, you know, just keep, keep, keep it going, because why not? I'm a writer, so I don't, I don't just rap. Like, you know, like I've wrote platinum and gold records for several artists. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think that's one thing that has always, you know, kept me around the basket. Hmm. I'm, I'm you got a, that pen. Yeah, I can. You know, I yeah. write for several artists, you know, knowingly and those that you like, oh, I didn't know you wrote that. I didn't know you wrote that. So, um, so I love this music. And like I say, my idols aren't just rappers. Like, my idols are the, the Quincy Joneses and, right. you know, the, the Miles Davis and people that uh, have contributed to music in ways that, um, have surpassed just the rapper mentality. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, and so I'll always stay around it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And then, you know, my hip hop dad, too short. It's like 58 years old, still on tour. Mount Westmore. Still like grossing 15, 20 million a year from rap at 57, 58 years old. Jesus. Still coming with records, still being sought after. What's your favorite too short album? Getting it. Getting it's the one. But you know what's crazy? Getting it. I feel like Life is Too Short was like, I think that was like way, yeah, well, that was like, <laughs> but like Cuss Words, I just remember learning Cuss Words by heart as a kid because it was like one of the few rap albums my dad had. Short dog. Like, I mean, like I said, that's my hip hop dad. That's the dude who, you know, I call Pops, who has taken me all around the world with him, who has shown me in his most gurific <laughs> way of teaching. You just like someone I, just told me. Uh, well, never mind. I, I don't know. I'm probably not. Someone's going to be playing too short in a movie or a show. Yeah, Simba. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, if I no, was it's allowed public. To... It's public. Okay, I didn't know that. It's public. And he looks just like him. Dead on him. It's fucking crazy. Dead on him. He got the tooth and everything. The coat, the hat to Bro. the back. It was. It, he, he. So he called me. <laughs> he called me. Was like. Big bro, can you put me on the phone with Short, man? I just want to show him this little thing. So I FaceTimed him. We all, he was like, Short was like, oh, that's crazy. Crazy. So, and then that right there, like that alone, man, is just crazy. I mean, like, you know, Short is um, short is somebody who they'll never give him his credit. Right. Like, unfortunately, it's going to take for him to ascend after this long and for people to really be like, damn. He was on Life After Death. Bro. He was on Volume 2. Any major album. I mean, Too Short, like when I was a kid, I thought Too Short was the biggest rapper in the world. To me, like as a little kid, I was like, Short is the only artist, and not to cut you off, I apologize. No. Nah. Short is the only artist that has a song with Biggie, Pac, Jay-Z, Pimp C. Yeah, he had his like a hit. Anybody you name. He had his Atlanta run. Like that anybody you name, Short has records with. The first time on I, their album. The first time I ever heard uh, Little John was that Let My Nuts Go record. He signed Little John. He signed yeah. Little John at 17 and then was so player, he let him go for nothing. Mm. Like when the major labels wanted to get Little John, he John was like, man, can I get out this contract? And he let him go. He was like, go ahead. Like, I'm not. Do your thing. Do your thing. And that's why. To this day, they have the greatest relationship and friendship. Like John, damn near just got him the residency. Short, big shout outs to Short just got a residency in Vegas on that's so, a that's at, so far. Was that Tao? One of them clubs. Like this is Short, man. Like Short is like I brag and I talk about him more than he does for himself. Like I'm his voice. I'm his. I'm his. Come on, like you know what I'm saying. And. It's just because I I don't like the way that the industry tries to normalize what he has done for hip hop. Right. Like how many people that you know that you can say was famous as a rapper in 1982? It's crazy. Like, bro, that's 40 years, bro. 41 years where he was a known rapper, Is famous. Really like him and Ice-T in terms of this side. Yeah. It's like really just them two. Come on, bro. Like, yeah. like you see... Ice get his star. Love Uncle Ice. That's huge. Too short needs one. Why not? Yeah, for sure. Like, what has, who has, just tell me, who has done more than Too Short in hip hop for the past 40 years? Right. Yeah, that's crazy. 40. Like, four, and we're not just talking about like four, 40 years. I'm talking about this dude got songs with Lady Gaga. Like, he's like, this is short. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is short walking up into the Playboy Mansion. I was a kid. He walks up. Hugh Hefner walks up to him and was like, what's up, Todd? I'm like, bro, 
You have knows you by your name. This is crazy. Like, so you know what I'm saying? This is crazy to me, bro. Like, nobody's bigger than Too Short in my eyes, man. And, and like I say, man, like even right now, and I just text him, and he's like, till this day, Pops, what you doing? Man, I'm in the studio, man. I'm in the lab, man. Like, of course. Boy, he's like, I'm still in, the, like, he's still there. Like, right. this is crazy, bro. So, 